My name is Chad Williams, and today we're going to make a professional line plot with error bars. So let's start off by making some data. And so we're going to use the data.frame, and we're going to say our values equals. So we're going to have five different distributions, so time one to five, let's say. So we're going to use the rnorm function here, and we're going to say 10 people per time, and then we'll say a mean of 10 for the first and a standard deviation of two. I need five of these, so I'm just going to copy paste them to make it a little bit easier and then just change the means of each of those. So what we have is a mean of 10, then 15, 18, eight, then two. So the next thing we need is our grouping variables. So we're gonna say time equals, and we're gonna sort rip one to five, I'll explain this in a second, 10 times. So we're saying one to five, 10 times, that's what rep does. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and sorting it is just gonna make all the ones together, then two and then three, and you'll see that in two moments here. And there we go, the first 10 is one, then two, then three, then four, then five. So we're gonna use both the ggplot2 and the hmisc packages. And don't forget to run those. We're gonna start by making a template. So we're gonna tell ggplot aesthetics that x equals our time variable and then y equals our values. Then our data is coming from our plot underscore data frame. So if we run this, we're gonna get an empty plot because it's just got it ready for us. And then we're gonna add the stat underscore summary, which is from the hmisc package. And we're gonna say we want our function to be mean and then we want our geom to equal line. So if we run that, what we get is a simple line on our plot. And let's add some error bars. So we're gonna put stats summary again. We're gonna put function.data this time. We're gonna put mean underscore CL underscore normal. And then we're gonna have geom equals error bar. Now I'm gonna change the width to 0.3, because I know the widths are usually a little bit big when they start off. But you can play around with that. Now what we have is our line plot with error bars at each point. And really, if you're really not too sure about where those points are, we can even add points on the means. So if we run that, oh, excuse me there. We run that, then we have these points as well. Finally, what I want to do is remove this gray background, and I could do that with the theme underscore classic, and all together we get a professional line plot with error bars.